Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fai, I'm here with Georgia and this is the Daily Astrology Forecast for May 19th, 2016. So if we are in, South, in Central Europe, we'll be waking up to a moon that is void of course and conjunct the Black Moon Lilith, which isn't a planet, it's just an energetic spot in space that traditionally is regarded as the place in which our unconscious behavioral patterns lurk, the uh, patterns that are not always positive for our development or, uh, or living a positive and a satisfying life on the long term. Sometimes it's self-defeating behaviors that we are not aware of or half aware of. And when the moon is Void, of course, first of all, it's not a good day to initiate things. It's a good day to just maintain whatever is already there. And it's conjuncting Lilith, <coughs> the black moon Lilith. There's two Liliths in the sky. It's a day in which that square between Saturn and Jupiter tension is really heightened. We have an exact square in the sky between Saturn and Jupiter. And, and the, this conjunction of the moon to the black moon Lilith heightens that tension between them that says that on the one hand we really feel like we need a vacation we really want to do something new we want to forget about our responsibilities and just enjoy ourselves not regarding the long-term consequences but on the other hand we are always reminded of our obligations of the laws that we ourselves built as pillars in our lives in order that we could truly be satisfied with who we are and how we go through life. So on the one hand we have stability and responsibility and obligations and on the other hand we have the cra craving to rebel and just sail out into the unknown, into the new, into the exciting. And this is heightened by the conjunction of tomorrow. And the moon is queen conxing the sun. So it's about also leaving some of ourselves behind, some of our behavioral patterns, some of who we are and wish to purify, stepping into the future. By 900 hours in the morning, the moon passes into Scorpio in Central Europe. It's still in your nighttime America and then it's unaspected for the whole day. But Mercury is in its finest, final day of retrograde until May 22nd, which are harsher usually. There's more malfunctions in electrical appliances and anything dealing with communication and with our own communication. And since there's a quincunx to Saturn, this could really play out in work environments or with authoritative figures. So if we, we are doing a project that is important to us in our work environment, we should really watch the small details of development frame. So, thank you for listening. May we have a positive day and learn that keeping our own rules is the only way that we could truly be free. Thank you and goodbye.